Hello everybody, MechFrog here. Today we're going to be tackling a Clan Heavy Battle Star from Catalyst Games. I went ahead and pulled the models off of their bases and uh, hit them with a chrome coat. And I've been working on them here ever since. You're going to kind of see how the process goes. Everything from the first chrome coat to the heavy homemade wash to fill in all the nooks and crannies with shadows. And then ultimately um, hitting them with the dry brush chrome to pull out the edges and then gradually coming in with this uh, semi-transparent green spray and they mix the two colors together. The bases are the 3D printed bases that I've designed. There's actually a link uh, in the description below if you want to download your own STL files to print these cool bases. Kind of meta hexes within hexes for these mechs. Now I actually did swap out one of them. I pulled the Turquina out for another project. And replaced it with the linebacker so like, a little bit lighter lance than it once was but uh, I think it's still pretty pretty darn strong so you can see here I'm going in with the, doing the detail work pulling out the weapons with the gold just to, to make them much more visible from at first glance and then the accent armor pieces on these Jade Falcon mechs would be that is an invasion orange color. So I'm going through and picking select armor pieces to hit with white first because if you tried with this pro acryl orange to just go right over the top of the, the darkened chrome it would take you five or six layers to, uh, to work. So I used the ivory pro acryl which gives you pretty good coverage I think I did two, ended up doing two coats um, of that and then the orange over the top and it worked out uh, great because the orange is nice and bright without ivory. Really Next up, used the, for the cockpit glass, wanted to use a, the plasmatic bolt, the speed paint from Army Painter. It does a really good job of giving you that light green window look. Came in with the, the itty bitty brush and trying to get into all the little nooks and crannies. Um, for that main panel on that cauldron board, tried to go uh, really heavy with the speed paint so that it, you would show a transition from darker in the middle um, and lighter towards the edge of the cauldron board and coming in and doing detail work hitting it with the ivory uh, with the, the light green mint color and then uh, a shade on the gold to give it some to dull it down a little bit and to uh, go into all the little nooks and crannies And this is the glossy version because I wanted to keep the gold um, metallic to be quite still still fairly bright and typically for battle mechs I don't like glossy stuff uh, but in this case uh, when you're dealing with a bunch of metallics it just makes sense for it to, to the gold for, to stay glossy um, for the water transfers I uh, pillaged a supply of games workshop transfers that I keep keep around for, for things like this and uh, pulled off some numbers so each member of the clan lance here can have its own number. Fine adjustment with the little tweezers, get exactly where I want it to be. And then once it's dried, the water's all dried off, and then I come back with a matte varnish to, and you can do a gloss varnish to if you wanted, but any sort of gar varnish to lock that transfer in place. Because um, if you've done enough of these models, Occasionally, you'll you'll brush a transfer that's been there for a while, and it just brushes right off like like nothing. Um, so, final result here. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. We've got kind of the steel Jade Falcon clan look, ready to go out and put some House Steiner butt. I hope you like it too. Uh, Side note for those of you who are supporters of the channel, uh, I went through and kind of updated the Kofi 
uh, link. As you, can, you can see it under the, the profile. It's actually in the description for this video too. Um, if you want to support the channel, if you're capable of, of throwing a few bucks here and there towards supporting the channel and creation of new cool uh, battle tech and other game systems items, uh, I would really appreciate it. Uh, it lets me know that this maybe could be viable um, as a uh, a supplement in the future so thanks a lot i really appreciate it uh if you want to support future content don't forget to hit that subscribe button take care be awesome make the world a slightly better place today and tomorrow